What up, Jeffrey with all my Bitcoin renegades? Merry Christmas, everybody. Today is officially Christmas, and Polygon is having a Christmas Day rally. It is up over 18 cents today um, on top of a week of recoveries it's already had. It went from 205 all the way to 273 back down to 246, back up to 267. Lots of times to make good purchases and pick you up some Polygon. Now, this thing was sitting under a dollar last month. If you look right here a month ago, it was sitting at a dollar 50. And we actually went down under a dollar right here and several different places. So there was a lot of opportunity to buy Polygon before this giant pump. We've made several videos on Polygon. Anything under $2 is a good price, especially when the gas prices of all said cryptos are high. Because Polygon is a layer 2 solution that allows scaling and basically cheaper gas fees. So it's basically Ethereum 2.0 on a side chain. That is what the kind of just is. It isn't really Ethereum 2.0. I'm just, you know, making the connection there. It's kind of like it. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, everything is looking good with Polygon. Um, it's up over a dollar this month, 60%. Um, now, if you look at this going into the future, gas fees are not going to get cheaper before they get more expensive, right? So this has at least the next couple of years of being one of the front-running cryptos. Now, why do I say that? Because gas fees for small transactions don't make sense on Ethereum. And even the tokens built on Ethereum don't really make a lot of sense anymore because it costs too much gas even to accept them as a crypto. Why would I want to pay $40 to accept a crypto that I only have 20 bucks worth of. What does that make? I mean, so nobody can have small amounts of these cryptos. So you're saying that everybody has to be basically a, a, a rich person or really trust in the crypto. You don't get the smaller investors that are just touching their toe and then buy a lot more because they like it. I just fixed your problem. So let's get those gas fees on Ethereum down or things like Polygon are going to continue to explode. And next we need a side chain for those tokens. How can we get the tokens to cost less in gas fees? Ethereum tokens. We need a side chain for Ethereum tokens now. Can Polygon do that? Or is it only with Ethereum transactions? Hmm, something to think about there, developers. Um, I'm not a developer, I'm an ideas guy. So I come up with ideas, you guys make them, boom. Symbiotic relationship. <laughs> so yeah, just find a way to make either Ethereum tokens um, cheaper or find a side chain that can do it from a scalability and gas uh, standpoint like Polygon has done for Ethereum. Let's get something to do that for the Ethereum tokens. Now, I want credit for this. <laughs> Whoever builds this, I want like at least a shout out or something, man. No. <laughs> um, but for real, that's tight, right? It, and so what people are doing is they're actually building tokens on Polygon because it's so much cheaper, right? So that's another reason that Polygon has gone up so much is because people are building actual uh, projects and tokens on Polygon. Now, let's go look at that. Uh... Okay, is there any Polygon tokens? No, see, oh, Polygon is an Ethereum token. Okay, yeah, I should have known that. The Polygon Network, a scaling solution for Ethereum. Polygon aims to provide faster and cheaper transactions on Ethereum using layer two sidechains. So does that mean that you can actually use it for Ethereum tokens as well? Now, I'd like to look, maybe this already does that, guys. So, no, I don't want to know about the tokens. Oh, it is an ERC-20 token. So, I don't think it can have tokens on it. Somebody told me they were building tokens on Polygon. 
Hold on. According to Morales, as Polygon is an EVM-based system, Ethereum. you can create a Polygon oh, okay. token using Ethereum-based development tools that you would use to build on other EVM-based systems. Okay, so I guess it would make you use the Solidity programming language and the Remix environment for deploying the token. So it is possible. Now, since you can create a token on Polygon, that basically would get rid of all the Ethereum gas fees. So I guess they already did this. See, great minds think alike. So, um, yeah, this is now what I would do. Oh, you do it on Morales. Man, shout out to Ivan on Tech, Morales. He says Morales, so cool too. Morales, Morales. Uh, how do you deploy ERC-20 tokens on Polygon? Map your Ethereum ERC-20 contract to the Polygon proof of stake contract. Go to the token mapper, select ERC-20 in Ethereum, Matic mainnet, provide the address of your contract on the Ethereum mainnet and the Polygon proof of stake mainnet. Provide an email address to be notified of when the mapping is done. Click submit. Wow. So you can bridging ERC-20 from Ethereum to Polygon proof of stake. So that's pretty cool. And that would get rid of a lot of those gas fees. So I wonder if not only that you can build them on there, but if you can actually use the, the Polygon sidechain to move around some of these other tokens, you know, just like you would Ethereum um as the erc20 token or would you have to switch them over to polygon and then back over to that and which is more fees and yeah i just don't see how that would work now that's pretty cool yeah obviously you can create a token <laughs> So that's pretty cool and what does that mean for the future well what we're talking about is gas fees they're super high. They don't make sense for normal transactions. Now, if you're spending millions of dollars, of course, like 20, 30 bucks isn't going to seem like anything. But when you're spending 20, 30 bucks and you got to spend 20, 30 bucks to send 20 or 30 bucks, that just, it's, it's impractical. It doesn't make sense to do it. So you would look for other ways to do that, right? Now, the more money you're spending and the more money you're sending, I should say, um, the more you are going to benefit from the fees being low because they don't raise the more you send. That's the thing. It's like a minimum level and a maximum level to see how, you know, how fast your transaction gets there. And you can make your fee as high as you want if you want it to be the very first one, but you don't necessarily have to. That's the, that's the cool thing. So... Now, we need solutions for this, and they're creating them right now as we speak. Um, you can see it with Polygon. You can see how much it's needed with the price raise of Polygon. Look at this. I'm telling you, more than a dollar in the last month. And uh, it's going to keep going, especially when these gas fees get higher and higher as the tokens get worth more and more value. So this is a really good video. You guys really need to check this out. Um, watch it all the way into the end. I should have said that at the beginning uh, because it is almost the end. But um, be sure to smash that like button. It shows the algorithm to really help us, especially you new people. If you're new to the channel, you're my lifeblood. You're what determines how big the channel grows. So we really need your support. We thank you for stopping by and Merry Christmas to all of you. And um, I hope this helps you um, in some kind of way to really understand the gas fees and what you can do to actually get around those gas fees in certain situations without, you know, doing anything shady. It's like legit ways to do these things. So, all right, guys, that being said, you know what time it is. Goodbye and good Bitcoin.